All right. Well, I caught a lot of flack for the last test that I did between soft coolers. I guess my observation of how much ice was left was not uh, not up to some people's standards. They wanted to see something like much more quantitative. So uh, this is round number two. So on the left here we have the Arctic 20 and on the right we have the Yeti Hopper Flip and these are the, the most similarly sized between these two. And down here I have a couple of ice blocks and a scale. Thirty one point seven eight ounces. Thirty one point seven eight eight zero. Very close anyway. Thirty one point seven eight. So yeah, it's as as close as I can get them to each other. So I'm just gonna drop one ice block in each one of these. Zip them up and, I don't know, check it again after a while. And when the test is over, I will pour the water out and I will re-weigh the ice blocks. Uh, so that should be much more quantitative measurement of uh, which cooler did better. Alright, it's roughly nine hours later. And I'm going to... I already unzipped these because it's... It's like impossible to unzip that and hold the camera at the same time. So uh, we definitely have some some melt going on in here and a lot more ice than my last test so uh, I guess we'll do the Yeti first. Alright, so that's 19 ounces exactly remaining for the Yeti. Twenty one point seven six ounces for the Arctic. So, uh, if I remember correctly, that was nineteen ounces for the Yeti, twenty one point seven six for the Arctic. So, the Arctic is the clear winner here in terms of ice retention. So, yeah, in terms of insulation, the Arctic wins. <clears throat> so they started out with almost exactly the same amount of ice mass and they were in the same freezer at the same temperature and after nine hours yeah there's a couple of ounces almost three ounces difference in terms of ice retention so arctic winds and that's a very quantitative number so i'm sure somebody could do uh, btu type calculations or whatever based on those measurements but uh, yeah so arctic winds on insulation and that's that's due to this really thick top and a pretty significant thickness on the side insulation so the Yeti doesn't have nearly as thick of a top and the insulation on the sides might actually be a little bit thinner now I'm certainly not intending this to be a Yeti bashing video just like my other video um, I actually had an Arctic soft cooler first and I ended up buying this Yeti because it was just a perfect fit in my motorcycle top case. So that was why I chose to buy the Yeti. But uh, yeah, if it wasn't for that constraint, then yeah, my initial pick was the Arctic. But in terms of quality of materials and construction, um, in my opinion, the Yeti has a slight edge. I mean, it has a, a much heavier duty zipper. And uh, some of these other materials, they just feel a bit more durable. Um, that's not to say that the Arctic feels flimsy at all. Uh, the zipper on here is still pretty good. 
and so so are the rest of the materials but it's yeah it's just not quite the same thing but for most of my purposes the arctic would do fine so um what else yeah, on the previous video somebody commented on the waterproofing ability of the the two different zipper styles so i actually tested that after doing my previous one and uh if I fill these both up with water, this one is actually watertight. I can fill it with water, turn it completely upside down, and it doesn't even really drip. Um, yeah, this style of zipper is not quite as watertight. So when I did the same test over here, it would actually drip one drip out of the corner of the zipper every couple of seconds or something like that. Now for just about everything that I want to do, that's perfectly fine. Like th that amount of, of seepage. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, hopefully these numbers are useful to someone. Thanks.